posted much in about a week. I uh, ended up having a few cars last week I was supposed to work on that ended up not being 100% ready. And I just didn't end up getting very much footage of uh, working on the Skyline, but I don't know if you can tell, we're back in the Skyline. So I'm driving this car up to Sanford right now. Today I'm going to be working on a uh, turbocharged BRZ. It's apparently got a nice Rocket Bunny wide body kit on it too, so should be a pretty cool car. Uh, it does have a GTX 3076 turbocharger on it. Uh, from what it sounds like, it sounds like we'll just be running it off a wastegate spring. I haven't seen the car yet, so we're gonna go check it out. Uh, look, uh, look it over first. It's got a, some fueling upgrades, but other than that, it's pretty much just a basic turbo kit. Uh, we're not going to be making four or five hundred real horsepower with it. The um, internals will not take that, considering they are all from the factory. But uh, it's going to be a pretty cool car. It's going to be pretty fun. So I'll document some of that, and uh, we'll see how that goes. I just got a base map ready for the Turbo FRS, so it's flashing right now, and as soon as that is done, we will start this and start calibrating it a little bit. Uh, just get the idle and everything good, then we'll take it for a little cruise on the street. And uh, once we get all the drivability, low load stuff dialed in perfectly, and you may know the car is more than drivable and under wide open throttle, then we will start doing some wide open throttle and uh, get this thing done. So we just got this thing pretty much base calibrated, uh, getting it, you know, getting all the tip-ins and everything was a lot of work surprisingly. I actually haven't had a turboed big injector BRZ give me quite this much trouble uh, getting all the tip-ins dialed in, but we did finally get all of that. So uh, I got to go cruise it around a little bit and finish calibrating a few things, but for the most part we're uh, almost ready with the closed loop cru cruising stuff. And uh, we'll be starting to do some wide open throttle pulls here in the very near future. Alright, so we got this car dialed in pretty well. Uh, it actually is the next day because we got caught in a horrible storm yesterday, so I had to go home and try and finish up the car today. So we've got the uh, we've got it pretty much calibrated up to uh, the wastegate, which is at like 5 psi of boost. So now we just need to start adding boost and continue calibrating it, uh, fueling and ignition wise and everything pretty much as I add it in steps. So I'll add a little bit at a time and make sure it's good the whole way through so that way at different part throttle ranges and things like that 
we'll know the car, the tune is good. So uh, it's coming along. All right, so I almost got this car done. I'll get a, try to get a sh few shots of me doing some pulls, uh, doing some final testing on it. How I've got this thing set up right now is I have it set up so it has a low boost mode and a high boost mode uh, in the Gretti Profec. So how I have it set up right now is I have it set up so that uh, the low boost is doing about 38, I don't know if you can see that, but it's doing about 38% on the wastegate duty, and then that's making a about seven pounds of boost roughly um, so I'll have the low around seven pounds of boost and then it peaked I actually reset the peak it didn't it made more than a pound and a half it did like 6.9 7.1 last time and then on the boost high you could see it peaked at 9.1 last time uh, that was at 46% wastegate duty. I had to get it about 20% before it would even start to do anything, but just goes to show you how once the, uh, the electronic boost control solenoid starts to, you have it, the duty cycle high enough where it starts to function and actually make a difference boost wise, that, that point to the point of overboosting can be pretty small. We're only running, uh, let's see, 8% difference between the low and the high boost. So this is 46%, the other one's 38%, and that's a whole two PSI difference boost-wise, which on this motor with high compression and everything, you wanna be really, really careful about.
Yes. Yes, go for it, man.